Golden Gate National Recreation Area is one of nine national parks in the Bay Area of California and consists of several parcels dispersed across three counties. Recent park planning documents have identified adaptation to climate change as a focal present and future challenge facing Golden Gate resource managers. One of the primary implications of climate change for coastal properties is planning for sea level rise, with current estimates ranging widely from 1 foot to 10 feet expected by the year 2100. An explicit effect of sea level rise for Goga is encroachment on sensitive species habitat because over 80 rare or special status species are permanent or seasonal residents of the park. The goal of this study was to address sea level rise encroachment susceptibility of select ESA listed species on Goga estates. To do that, parcel, boundary, parcel and boundary data were obtained from the National Park Service via the Geospatial Analysis Lab. Fairly conservative sea level rise estimates were obtained from NOAA models and clipped to the study area. I selected five representative terrestrial or freshwater species that were federally listed to examine species that the National Park Service may be required to consult with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service for under the Endangered Species Act as a federal agency in their planning for adaptation to climate change. Species occurrence records were obtained from the California Natural Diversity Database with use permissions obtained from the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. These data sets were combined to produce the following maps. Note layer symbol identifiers are on each side of the screen and parcel presence is listed next to their respective species. This overview shows the regional context for the study area consisting of Marin, San Francisco, and San Mateo counties and the 52 core area Goga parcels. The first species selected was the California red-legged frog, which occurred in the highest frequency across Goga parcels, being found in 29% of parcels analyzed. A closely linked species which preys almost exclusively on California red-legged frog is the San Francisco garter snake, which was far more restricted and only, was only found in 4% of Goga parcels. The western snowy plover is a coastal migratory bird and had one observation straddling two parcels within the entire Goga complex. The tidewater goby is a small brackish water tolerant fish that was observed in 6% of Goga parcels. The mission blue butterfly was the second most commonly occurring species across Goga parcels at 12%. It is important to recognize the limitations of using occurrence records rather than species range or distribution in determining the potential for species to occur on Goga estates. This map shows theoretical and conceptual connectivity between occurrences in Goga. It is also important to recognize that while this study focused only on a parcel patch analysis of Goga units, the species analyzed herein exist within a regional context as well. This graph shows the proportion of Goga estates in which each species was found and which of those were susceptible to sea level rise encroachment. Interestingly, there was low variability in which Goga properties were affected by varying levels of sea level rise. That is to say, of those properties which contained at least one of the five select ESA species, they either were or were not so-called affected by sea level rise regardless of the modeled height. Those are listed here. A final objective of this study was to render these results in 3D. It is important to note that this is for visualization purposes only, and the sea level presented here is unrealistic. Thank you to several people for their guidance and feedback in producing this work, and thank you for watching.